it depends but in general of course it matters because geography is the context that is determining your environment where you live so you live in a, a desert region or desert part of the world or uh, you know a warm part of the world then that dictates a certain uh, style of living if you're living in a very cold place in the world that also dictate a style of living if you live in an island is something if you live in a major uh, continent is some is something else <laughs> Because no matter who you are, no matter how powerful and strong you are, mentally and emotionally and spiritually and you name it, in trying to determine your internal conditions and sort of isolate yourself so that you control what's happening within you, your internal world, regardless of your surrounding, uh, no matter how powerful you are, there is a limit to that. Very few people can be the same people regardless of their environment. Very few people. Most people, they can't. So do yourself a, fa a favor and ask yourself the most fundamental question of what you want from life, the kind of life you want to live, at the main dimensions at least, if not all, professionally, socially, in terms of weather, in terms of uh, culturally, even politically, if there's a sense of freedom or no freedom or the political system where you live. So all of these are important. So ask yourself, what kind of life would you like to live? Then move to the other question. Okay, which environment on the physical geography or other kind of geography is the most suitable the most empowering, the most enabling, so that I can live the life that I want to live. And then start from there. It's a very important question. It's a very important aspect of your life. Because you don't want to be swimming against the current. Even if you choose the most ideal geography or environment for you, life will still be dotted with hardship and difficulties and challenges because that's the nature of life. That's how it is. So imagine... On top of that default nature of life, you're living in an environment that goes against creating the life that you want to live for yourself. Because life is short. So why do you want to put yourself in a tough, a tough situation? Definitely. Start with you with, with clarity on what you want to do in life and how you want to live. And the second step, immediate second step is, okay, where can I have the life that I want to live? Provided, of course, you can do that. Because sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you're stuck. Sometimes you can't, for financial reasons, you can't change your environment. Sometimes for, I don't know, security reasons, economic reasons. Sometimes for health reasons. Sometimes for, you know, family reasons, uh, relational commitments responsibilities that you have towards other people you can't you can't make the move you can't change your environment but you have to at least consider that and it has at least you have to make you have to have visibility on your future and you have if you have no other choice you have to have a sense of acceptance because you can't live your life frustrated because you feel stuck in a place that you can't be maybe you have to say okay it's not ideal it's against you know everything that i want from life but I, c I cannot do that. I have my commitments to my family, to my uh, other kinds of obligations. Or practically speaking, I can't do it now. Maybe I have to prepare it the next four years or five years. But definitely keep an eye on that. And whenever you can, whenever you can, move yourself to an environment that is more supportive of the way that you want to live, of the life you want to live, definitely do that it will give you so much boost and it will push you forward it's like a booster at least it will not like act like a break you know pulling you back against everything that you want to do so definitely because we're children of our environment 